Hello everyone and welcome back to a quick overview of my procedural town generator and well um, this system just allows you to place down roads and each road basically um, can be assigned to a type of building that you want to spawn around so for example over here it's going to be commercial over here it's going to be housing housing industrial and you know etc and you can basically have you know prefabs or, um, or basically a class uh, uh, blueprint that contains each building and now you can assign basically this building to a type that's where the basically the, the system will choose the house and it's going to randomly spawn one of them and the system also takes care of collisions so if for example two houses uh, overlap for example from this road and from this road they will choose one uh, so there will be no overlapping houses at all and basically the system simply works where you need to click play and all the buildings will spawn according to the settings of the roads. And you can see that I'm playing as the client. That's why the system is also replicated. And if I click play over here, and you can see that if I just choose, for example, this house over here, and I go down to it, you can see that the variation is exactly the same. And if, for example, I go into this one, which is of the same type, let's see if it shows there you go. Now this house over here does not have the table in front. And if I go there with this other client, you're going to see that um, it also chose to uh, not spawn that uh, table over there. There you go. So the system is completely replicated, including you know the interiors of the buildings and everything. And the only thing that you need to do is basically manually spawn the uh, roads. So you can just, obviously these are just prefabs and examples. But obviously you can add your own assets because you know the assets itself don't matter. Um, and as you can see, there's like a lot of roads over here that I place. So there's, uh, let me see, 130. So that makes around 260 um, buildings. And you can see that they replicate pretty quickly. And you can see that they are kind of popping up in the distance. That is because of the replication um, length which you can change, or replication distance, sorry, which you can change inside the master building, and you can change this value over here. So if I multiply this by two, just for now, you can see that if you click play, they will replicate uh, much further away now. And obviously, um, this is just, you know, having that value kind of not too high will help in the performance, but you can see that the settings are set up for very low um, replication frequency, so they're going to be very cheap to uh, basically communicate between all clients. And yeah, that's it. And um, I think I'm going to do a couple more videos showing more in-depth um, how to set up new buildings and new building types, and generally showing you, uh, you know, all the intricacies, how, for example, how the randomization of the props uh, work, for example, for each building and stuff like that. Uh, but I just wanted to do this video to show overall how the system works. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or even suggestions for further updates. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.